Welcome to First Shift, the series where I, as a side hustle expert, look at fellow gig workers in their first ever respective shift on their chosen app or platform. Today on the hot seat, I have Toya Drives, and interestingly, an app, a platform that I've never driven on before that I think you might want to consider. We'll see how it goes here. She's driving on catering platform, Deliver That. So if you're a DoorDash Dasher, they have their large order program, aka DoorDash Drive, that's catering. But Deliver That is just catering. If you think about the ticket, like what the customer is actually paying, a lot of times this is a company or an office ordering a lot of food. So you would think if we're going on percent tip, that could be pretty good for you as well. So I've had a lot of experience in the food delivery space. I'm really curious how Toya's first shift goes again, this time on a catering only platform. Got my first order on the deliver that Let's platform. Go, folks. I've been signed up for about three weeks or so, and it's been it's been kind of rough trying to get these offers. The ones that pop up, I get a ding on my phone as soon as I open up the app, it's gone. Wow. So yeah, High pain, this maybe? is literally the first order that I had the opportunity to take. And I said, look, I couldn't turn it down. It's a little bit of a drive, but I said, look, yeah, I gotta try. go ahead and get my deliveries up on this platform. Right. Because I've heard. Yeah, I've heard this platform can pay out like, mm, you know, so I'm trying to get up there. So for this order, we are picking up from Panda Express. The delivery commission that we're getting paid for for base pay is $9. And I love the screenshots. Thank you, Toya. Let's see. So it is $303 worth of Panda Express. <laughs> I love Panda Express. Maybe I could take that $303. Maybe I could take that. I'm just kidding. I couldn't take down that much Penn Express. Let's see. 7.1 miles, 15 minute drive time. That's pretty good. This delivery qualifies for the Easy Cater Tip Pool. The tip pool typically ranges between $21 and $27 per delivery. What? All Easy Cater gratuities are passed 100% to the driver who take them and are split evenly amongst only easy cater deliveries. Maybe it's like subcontracted, like this easy cater. Let me know down below in the comments. Is it like subcontracted to deliver that? But why is it $9.03 if it's 7.1 miles, yet it is a $303 order cost, which I like that they show you that, by the way, because like a 10% tip is 30 bucks. I mean, at least a 10% tip. And All right, I'm panda time, use folks. I'm a different set of bags that I have. Technically, you're not supposed to be using bags that have another logo on them. So I went ahead and purchased some generic bags. So we're going to use those today. If you need bags, by the way, we do have an affiliate team storefront link down below. That's interesting, though. She said no logos on the bag. But aren't you an independent contractor? I mean, I guess, is it within this scope that they're allowed to tell you that? Cause like you can drive DoorDash and literally have like an Uber Eats shirt if you want, or like do Amazon Flex and have like a Walmart shirt. I mean, it doesn't matter. One bag, two bags. Uh, there we go. Three bags, four bags. Oh my gosh, five bags, six bags. Did I lose count? Is that six or w was there more? And man, not gonna lie, that's a little bit more food than I expected. That's a lot. But <laughs> thank goodness for this tip pool because this particular location, I think I've dropped off orders at least like maybe two or three other times. And these folks, they don't tip. <laughs> they don't tip. So I am thankful. Yeah, so it's definitely gonna take some getting used to because I definitely got spoiled off of delivered automatically detecting that you know you've arrived at the destination and it automatically marks you as arrived so see that's another platform delivered haven't done that one but i could sign up let me know if you'd be interested in that and man as always that smell whew, that food smelling good <laughs> man oh it's a hospital or surrounding buildings maybe this is a whole hospital I've literally been driving around for like it is the hospital. Figure out where I'm supposed to go. 
So I guess, and by the way, some of these apps like Deliver That, they may require, well, they should actually, they most likely are going to require an actual catering bag. Not like your standard food, hot and cold bag, you know, the small ones, you need a catering bag. So I guess you could carry both, but then if you could put one in the wagon, then either or, I'm thinking about any facility that wouldn't want you to have the wagon, I don't think it would really be a big deal, right? Okay, so she found her delivery spot. Now keep in mind that Toya is setting this up here for the uh, customers or clients, what have you. So there is a little bit of setup. It's not just like, hey, leave it, take a picture. But I mean, pretty straightforward, right? I've, I'd have no problem doing this. And I'll be receiving a tip from the tip pool between 21 and $27. So that'll make my pay anywhere between 30 and $36 for this order. You know, I wish it was a little bit more for the hassle that I had to Still, go through. Solid. But I can definitely see solid. this tip pool is going to come in clutch for some of these orders. Now, if I was only getting $20 for this order, nah, nah. But and still, yes. $20 for, I think it was seven miles. Even that is not bad. Yeah, I mean, Toya mentioned the hospital navigation issues, but they're not all going to be to like a building like this. But I think you, honestly, I think you will deal with more businesses because that's who's ordering like $300 worth of Panda Express unless it's a party, right? But even 20 bucks for seven miles and then add on and consider, here's another thing with delivery platforms that I'm thinking about. Well, with catering platforms, rather, I should say, is Add on like 10 minutes for maybe the navigation and the setup, right? Because it's not always going to be like, oh, apartments, condo, house. It's going to be kind of the inverse. Whereas like DoorDash or Uber Eats, it'd be like 5% to uh, a business or maybe, you know, it depends where you're at, obviously, but let's say like 25%. But with catering, I'd imagine it's inverse, like 75% plus are going to be to businesses or institutions, facilities, and then the smaller percent are going to be the houses, condos, right? Especially for this amount of food. So, you know, I'm willing to go ahead and take a few more orders that I probably wouldn't, right? And like I said, that's just so I can get my foot in the door, get some more orders under my belt, and hopefully that will allow me to get even bigger orders, you know, those priority orders and everything. Priority. So I heard about some even of the better. Deliver That programs. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more research on it, but I heard that, whew, I heard you can get, you can get quite a bit on here. So only one order, but we got a lot of info here from Toyo's first Deliver That order. And the priority orders, like there could be even better paying orders. Like imagine 50 bucks for seven miles, 60 bucks. I, I don't know. I, again, if you have experience with Deliver That, let me know kind of the biggest margin that you could see at the platform. So this was a fantastic one. First shift, first order, whatever you want to call it here from Toya. And it gets me really interested in catering because if you didn't know, at least at the time of filming this, DoorDash's drive or their catering, the large order program, it's always been invite only via email. But this, you can jump right in. And even that delivered platform that Toya mentioned, deliver that, delivered whatever, just to get your foot in the door of catering and get some of these hopefully higher paying offers. So I think I might be signing up for some of those platforms. So drop a like on this video, consider subscribing. All I do is help you make money in different side hustles so we can see some of that here.